Voters in Round Rock could see a multi-million dollar bond on the ballot in May. That is if the school board approves the plan. People in Round Rock will have their voices heard at a series of meetings starting tonight. KXAN's Angie Bevan has more. The first of several meetings will be held here at Round Rock High School. The bond committee is hoping to hear from parents and other concerned residents about what improvements they'd like to see a bond package cover. They'll then take their findings to the Round Rock School Board. A Round Rock ISD bond was last passed in 2008. Members of the bond committee say it's time for more investment in the district's 48 schools. The area is seeing rapid growth, they say, with some schools outgrowing their capacity. The possibility of building new elementary and middle schools and even a high school will be part of the discussion. Also, the committee is hoping bond money could help repair aging schools and go toward technology improvements in some of the older schools. As for a dollar amount, the committee is looking to start at $200 million. It could go up or down slightly from there. There are things in the bond that people will support, and there could be things that they won't support. And we need to hear that from the community so that when we put the package together, that it's a responsible package that voters can get behind and then show up in May and get this thing through. The Citizens Bond Committee will report their findings to the Round Rock ISD School Board in mid-February, and then from there it could go on the ballot in May or it could get totally dismissed. And we've got the schedule of all of these meetings on our website along with this story at KXAN.com. Reporting in Round Rock, Angie Bevan, KXAN News. One obstacle to a possible school bond is the amount of existing bond debt in voters for voters already in Round Rock. Last fall, Round Rock voters approved $123 million worth of city bonds for fire, police, library, and park facilities. And Williamson County voters approved $275 million in road bonds last November and $40 million for parks in the same election.